concentrations look like when you're doing prolo uh, using those different solutions? Yeah, so um, uh, most of my prolo, so intra-articular, I usually just go straight for 25%. There are some patients that uh, if I get the feeling uh, in their intake that they're really, really inflamed, um, that I will scale back and I might start at 20% intra-articular and work up to 25. Um, and the reason I just start at 25 as opposed to scaling up is predominantly just because the literature, the strongest literature out there is for 25%. And it's not that 25%, that there's no head-to-head -head trials comparing 20% intra-articular to 25% intra-articular, but there are studies showing that 25% intra-articular is beneficial for cartilage regrowth and regeneration. And so because of that, I just go for, well, there's research showing that 25% is effective, so I'm just gonna go straight for 25%. And then in terms of my periarticular stuff, I'm usually doing uh, either 15 or 20%. Um, but most commonly 20% uh, periarticular. So my tendons, uh, ligaments, uh, things like that are gonna be 20% uh, intraarticular, 25%, and then all of my nerve-based approaches and my fascial plane hydrodissections are gonna be 5% uh, dextrose.